In this module, we shall study a rather controversial application of Salam as an Islamic mode of financing. It is called Currency Salam. Before we go into the details of Currency Salam, it is important for us to refresh our memories with some important rules governing trading in currencies. Trading in currencies is different from trading in commodities. Main agar gandum kharidu ya bechu, iske mutalik sharia ahkamat bohot mukhtalif hain agar main koi currency dollars ya pounds bechu aur kharidu. These rules are known as ahkamu sarf and they are stricter than rules governing trading in commodities. So before we attempt to explain the rather controversial currency salam structure, it is important for us to understand what are some basic tenets governing trading in currencies. Now, the most important aspect of trading in currencies is that currencies can be traded only on spot. On spot means, ek hath se dollar do, dusre hath se rupe le lo. Ye nahi ke abhi ek dollar mein diya hai, aur ek hafte baad uske badle mein mujhe rupe mile. This is not possible. So, Trading in currencies is allowed only on a spot basis. This is the most important uh, aspect of trading in currencies. So, no deferment of delivery of one or two currencies is allowed. Hence, there is no forward or futures contracts allowed to deal in currencies. So, this is an important aspect which has been established in Islamic law for centuries. So, just to simplify the things, if this party A has got US dollars, this party B has got GBP pounds, and if this party delivers or pays these dollars to party B on Monday, September the 20th today and party B in exchange gives pounds on Monday, September the 27th after one week, this is not allowed. This is not allowed in Islamic law. Both the currencies should be exchanged on spot. So, if party A has got money, US dollars, it should deliver US dollars on Monday, September the 20th at 10.30 a.m. And party B should be delivering pounds on Monday, September the 20th at 10.30 a.m. Itni sakti hai ke time bhi isme dekhna padta hai. Ye ne ke ek hafte baad de de, ek mahine baad deferment ke saath dusri currency de de. This is not accepted in Islamic law. Ab ye zehen mein rakh ke aye hum ye currency salam ki product ko dekhte hain jo Pakistan mein quite a few banks are offering and I call it as a controversial product because this negates some very well established rules on trading in currencies. What is the objective of this product called Currency Salam? The objective is for a bank to extend financing to its customer in rupees, in one currency, and receiving the financing amount back from the customer in another currency. Why the bank would like to do this? Some banks, they have their currency exposures. So, they would like to manage their currency exposures 
by way of offering a product like currency salam. So, this is the main kind of rationale behind offering currency salam product by Islamic banks in Pakistan and some conventional banks offering Islamic financial services as well. This type of product is not acceptable anywhere in the world except in Pakistan where Sharia scholars somehow have come up with an exception. Because this is being offered in the market, as an academician, it's important for me to present this structure to you as an application of Salam, as an Islamic mode of financing in Islamic banking and finance. Let us look into details. Step one, at T naught, now customer and bank enter into a master Salam agreement a Salam agreement pursuant to which the customer agrees to deliver various amounts of a foreign currency on future dates against the advance payments at the start of each and every individual Salam contract. So, in stage one, basically step one, the customer receives money in rupees. This is the Salam price, rupees received by the customer from the bank that is the salam price for a foreign currency which the customer would be delivering to the bank on a future date so this is step 1 step 2 mein kya hota hai jab wo future date aati hai at t1 customer delivers the required amount of foreign exchange or foreign currency dollar to the bank kaise by actually buying it from the market. So, wo dollars de deta hai. Ab usme hota kya hai? Isme kya ho raha hai? Customer ne rupee le liye bank se aaj aur agle 30 din ye paise apne istemal mein kiye. If this customer happens to be a businessman or business, then of course, okay, this money would be used for day to day kind of business expenses. And future, jab paise dene the bank ko, us pokat bajaye rupay dene ke, bazaar se currency khridi foreign or bank ko de di. This is how this happens. Actually, a structure which is a kind of advanced form of this one is that the customer even doesn't have to buy the currency by itself. Rather, it appoints the bank as its agent to buy the currency, foreign currency, on a future date on the behalf of the customer and delivers it to itself. So, this is a currency salam arrangement which is being used in Pakistan. This is a product offered by Islamic banks and conventional banks offering Islamic financial services in Pakistan. This is in use. However, this remains highly controversial.